What's happening, sports fans? Welcome back to another episode with Mom and Papa Joe's. We are continuing our port theme to bring in the new year. And uh, this uh, menu is going to be something, man, that I've wanted to do for, for, for quite some time now, almost, uh, almost a year. I am going to be experimenting and playing around with making my own head cheese, sauce, brawn, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this might not be on the heavy level. Uh, this is going to be pretty light. I don't have a, a hog's head, not because I didn't, uh, couldn't get one. I just didn't want to uh, deal with it. Uh, if this is your first time checking out our channel, uh, please look around. We think you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. Uh, to all our loyal fans, thank you very much for helping us get where we are. Let's get started. So just to show you real quick what we're going to be using. We've got about two and a half pounds each of uh, some beautiful uh, pork belly. Uh, this piece has some, uh, some bone in it, skin on. Uh, we've got some nice hocks uh, cut to about uh, an inch, uh, meaty, nice bone that's gonna give us that collagen that we're looking for, man. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we've got some trotters, some pig's feet. Again, it's gonna provide some collagen, some nice skin and uh, some awesome flavor. I'm going to, uh, these are cut pretty thin, like I said, about an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch thick, so I am not going to split them or anything. Pig's feet are already split. I'm just going to cut these, uh, these two pieces of belly into maybe uh, one inch chunks. Uh, when we put the cure on them, uh, this is going to allow them to cure a little faster. This is going to be a three day cure. So what we've got here, uh, a couple of bay leaves, uh, three tablespoons of kosher salt, one tablespoon of uh, 16 mesh uh, cracked black pepper, two teaspoons of red chili flakes, uh, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, one teaspoon of fresh uh, thyme, and two teaspoons of prog powder, prog salt number one, curing salt not to be confused with Himalayan pink salt. I'm gonna just try to crush up my uh, bay leaf a little bit. I'm gonna give that a good mix. Make sure that curing salt is well integrated. Then we're gonna come back and simply sprinkle. We want to make sure we get this over every single inch of these pieces of meat. Give them a nice stir. Again, we're going to get these in a bag, sealed up, and we're going to put them in the fridge for a three-day cure. All right, so we're back. It's been roughly three and a half days, man. Our uh, pork belly, trotters, uh, what else did I use? Oh, uh, some hawks have been cured, man, and they look uh, freshly brightened. So what we're gonna do now is start this entire process of getting these things cooked with the veggies and everything to create that rich, beautiful stock uh, that will then turn into a consomme. We're gonna wrap that meat up, especially the bony pieces, in some cheesecloth. That's gonna make it uh, so much easier to fish out when uh, that time comes. Because uh, Pig's Feet's got uh, some small bones uh, and uh, it can be a little bit or it would be a little bit labor intensive to remove those. So we're gonna wrap them in cheesecloth. And hopefully I've got enough. I don't think I need to do the hocks. But the pig's feet, definitely. These hocks, I'm gonna drop directly 
into a pot that I have on the stove. We're gonna do the same thing with our veggies. I've got one and a half large, uh, correction, one and a half medium uh, yellow onion, one and a half uh, large carrots, rough chop, four stalks of celery, rough chop. All right, roughly three uh, tablespoons of uh, rough chopped parsley. One and a half tablespoons of fresh uh, cracked, coarse cracked black pepper. Crack those myself. One and a half tablespoons of fresh uh, thyme. Man, about three quarters of a whole bulb of garlic. So there's roughly uh, seven or eight uh, crushed garlic in there. And then one medium tomato. And again, we're making this easy to fish out. Uh, on that back side. So that's why we're using the cheesecloth. We're going to wrap tightly and our little bundle of joy all right, is going into the pot. So our hocks are in the pot. Uh, here comes our veggies and then uh, about three tablespoons of lemon juice. Guys, we're going to bring this to a boil, turn it down to a simmer and let it cook for two and a half, three hours until I'm certain that everything in there is fall off the bone. I'm gonna make a quick pickled uh, onions and peppers. I'm gonna, gonna add these uh, to that meat just before creating our, uh, our hog's head loaf. We're gonna start with a quarter cup of water. quarter cup of apple cider vinegar quarter cup of white vinegar and a quarter cup of maple syrup this is going to provide some great color and some additional texture uh, to that uh, terrine in the end we want to make sure we give this a nice good stir. So we'll probably give this maybe three hours or so uh, to pickle. So we've hit that three hour mark. And man, uh, feels nice and tender. So we're going to turn this off. Uh, pull these veggies and this meat out and strain the stock. So just quickly going to pick out some of the bay leaves, uh, the bones. The bones have given us all the, the collagen and everything else we need. Uh, we're hanging on to that meat and that fat. I mean that feels good. Uh, I think I've got a great ratio of uh, nice chunky meat to fat. Uh, I'm not going to break them up into uh, small pieces. We're going to come back with our veggies. What we want to do is just make sure uh, we give our veggies a good uh, rough chop into some smaller pieces. Let's get this stock strained. I've got my Shinwa, my China Cap strainer. Uh, and uh, let's try to do this without making a mess. Get this stock straight, see how much of it uh, we've got left. 
All right, so we've got just a little over three quarts. And by the, by the time I skim this fat off of the top, I will be right at three quarts. So uh, I think that's a great amount. So in this, in this pan, I've got three egg whites. All right, just beating them just a little bit. For every quart of stock that you're looking to clarify, uh, you want one egg white. So I've got three quarts of stock left, good clean stock. So I've got three egg whites. I'm gonna come back now with my finely minced veggies uh, from earlier. I'm gonna mix that in and make sure that I mix very well. This is an interesting process right here. Ingenious, I don't know how somebody came up with this. The egg whites have become a part of the veggies now. So I've got a bowl of the, the pretty warm stock and I'm just gonna be adding just enough to warm this up. That way when I add it to my pot, uh, it doesn't cook. So let's take this to the stove. All right, so I just turned the fire back on my stock. I'm going to add my tempered mixture of veggies and egg whites directly into that stock. As this comes back uh, to a higher temperature, the idea behind this is that the veggies coated with those uh, egg whites are going to float to the top and create what is called a raft. And that raft is then going to be used to strain the rest of the liquid and really clarify it. I am so inter interested to see uh, how well this works. It will take uh, 15, 20 minutes to a half an hour or so. So here we are, and my raft is starting to form. Uh, and man, it's right around 15 to 20 minutes or so. I didn't time it, but I'm gonna stop stirring and let this uh, continue. Our stock is simmering, man. We've got a nice raft form. So now the plan is to just create a bit of an opening right here in the center. And we're gonna start taking this stock and pour it over the sides. And those sides are going to act sort of like a sieve, a strainer. So we're gonna be a little gentle and just continue to work this around. So now I've got a ladle, uh, correction, a uh, strainer with some cheesecloth and I'm going to begin to just gently remove my, my clarified stock line and strain it one last time. Oh yeah. Raft is breaking up a bit, but man, I clap, that stock looks good and clear. All right, so we're back, and man, we've got a beautiful consomme. Nice and clear, I can see, crystal clear, I can see the bottom of the, the pan. Before I check for salt or anything, the first thing I want to do is to see how jellified my stock is. So I'm just going to take a little out, uh, put it in the fridge for about 20 or so minutes, then check it. If, it's that, if that gel is still pretty soft, then I'm going to reduce this a little bit. If it's firm uh, to the point where I want it, then we're going to continue forward. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour, man, and I'm pretty happy with how this is set up. Uh, pretty firm. So I think uh, we're gonna move forward with our mold. So here's that meat that is cooled down. I'm just gonna get some color and some texture. A uh, little red pepper flakes. Definitely don't wanna overdo that. <laughs> some fresh parsley for some nice color. And 
we're gonna come back with some of that pickle, our, our bell pepper, and onions that we made earlier. Uh, I actually added two more tablespoons of white vinegar because I thought it was too sweet. So I, I do this again, I am only going to use two tablespoons of uh, maple syrup as opposed to four or a quarter cup. Uh, I want some of this vinegar in there, man. It's gonna cut the richness of uh, this pork. It's got a nice hint of sweet. So again, man, I love the contrast of uh, colors. And I don't know how much these loaf pans are gonna hold in terms of meat, so I will play it uh, by sight. Ladle. Uh, just to cover the bottom. Completely cover the bottom. And put this back in the fridge so that it sets up. That way when I add my meats, my meats aren't going to be on top. They're gonna be uh, an eighth of an inch or a uh, three eighths of an inch below the first layer of Jet. Uh, that little uh, eighth of an inch that I put in there set, uh, some of the corner, I guess uh, I moved the, the saran wrap, but uh, not a biggie. All right, uh, we've got this beautiful, tender, colorful meat. Let's drop some in, and we're not going to be packing or anything. All right, so uh, we'll put a layer in. Come back with some of this good consomme. Like that. All right, we'll come back with another layer. Got some meat left over. Uh, I don't have another mold like this, but what the heck? Let's do this one. So So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, my first attempt at brawn, sauce, hog's head cheese. Uh, we will see what this looks like in the morning. So uh, these two molds, of course, I, uh, I had the saran wrap in them. Uh, that should make things easier to uh, remove in the morning. This one, uh, we'll find out if this was a mistake not putting saran wrap in there. Uh, but uh, I think we'll be good. All right, folks, here's the moment of truth, man. We've given uh, these molds an overnight to set up in the fridge. Uh, this is the one where I failed to put the saran wrap inside the container before, uh, before molding. I've uh, taken a spatula and just loosened around the edges. But this looks uh, really, really cool. Uh, let's go right down the middle. See what we've got, man. Ha! That looks pretty good. A thin slice. Oh, 
Uh, you can eat it on bread, you can eat it on crackers. We let mama go first. <laughs> I want to taste the piece without uh, crackers or anything. Mmm. Hmm. Put another little piece on there. Man, that's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some crackers. I oh, mean, it's got nice heat. A little bit of that zing out from the vinegar. Ah, uh, there's a nice crunch from the bell pepper, bell pepper and onions, mm -hmm. pickle. Uh, delicious. Man, delicious. I'm not going to cut into these just yet. But I just want to show how easy uh, it's going to be to pull, remove from the mold. Man. Mm -hmm. Set up nicely. That's beautiful. So if you wanted to flip upside down, <laughs> that is awesome. And that was the purpose of putting that, that first layer in the bottom, to have this kind of look for presentation. Pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this freezes well, so I'm going to vacuum seal, freeze. I've got uh, a couple of five friends that really want to try this. So we're gonna cut this up, vacuum seal, and uh, at some point get it to our buddies uh, to get their uh, their views. I want to thank you guys once again for hanging out with Mom and Papa Joe. This process was not very labor intensive, but uh, it was kind of lengthy. It probably won't be for everybody, but we really enjoyed making this video. If this is your first time, I know you want to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate your support. I want to wish you guys a happy new year and may it bring you nothing but luck prosperity and everything you desire. You guys take care of yourselves and we'll see you when we see you.